Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S3 3124 Going to School by Margaret Klein, Rachel Griffiths, Griffiths and Cynthia Benjamin. Schools around the world. Children in most places around the world go to school. They learn to read and write. They do math. They study the history and customs of their countries. They have recess too. Mexico, Laos, Nepal, Brazil. The children in this book go to school in nine different countries. Their schools are very different in many ways. Some are large schools in busy cities. Some are small schools in villages and towns. In some places, Children walk to school, in others they go by bus, train, or car. Some children go to school on snowmobiles. No matter how children get to school or where they go to school, they all enjoy playing with friends and finding out about the world. Afghanistan. Nine-year-old Maria goes to a school for girls in Kabul, a city in Afghanistan. For many years, girls in Africa, girls in Af Afghanistan weren't allowed to go to school. In 2002, however, a new government was formed. Now girls have schools of their own. It takes Maria 30 minutes to walk to school. The girls sit on a rug during school. Maria wants to become a teacher when she grows up, so she works hard in school. Her favorite subject is Dari. This is one of the languages spoken in Afghanistan. Maria and her friends have fun at school. At recess, they enjoy skipping. Maria's favorite sport is soccer. This is Maria's name written in Dari. Students at recess, Maria's schoolwork. This is Maria's math, math books. Maria writes in the Dari language. Dari is read from uh, right to left. The girls at Maria's school wear school uniform. <clears throat> Australia. Uh, Rosita is eight years old. She goes to school in Bidia Danga, a small community in northwestern Australia. Rosita's community is more than 106 kilometers from the nearest town. Rosita's school. Rosita with her best friend Jessica and Carla. Rosita doesn't wear shoes to school. The weather is hot and dry, so Rosita goes barefoot all the time. Rosita is an Aboriginal Australian. Aboriginal peoples have lived in Australia for more than 40,000 years. Five different Aboriginal languages are spoken in Bidia Danga. Rojita's school day begins at 8 o'clock in the morning. Her lessons include reading, drawing, and maths. At recess, she loves playing basketball and hide and seek with her friends. Rojita's schoolwork. In these notebooks, Rojita writes about what she learns at school. Her class has been reading a story about clowns at the circus. Canada. Eight-year-old Levi goes to school in Iga, Iqaluit. This town is in northern Canada. From October to May, lots of snow falls there, and in and in the winter, it is dark for the for most of the day. Levi is Inuit. The Inuit are native people from northern Canada. At school, Levi speaks and writes in Inuktitut, a language of the Inuit. He also understands English. Uh, children in northern Canada sometimes ride to school on a snowmobile. Levi, the school is on the coast of Baffin Island in the Arctic Ocean. Levi likes working with computer. Many students in Levi's community use computers in school. 
Levi's town is far away from any cities. A computer makes it easy to gain information without having to travel to a distant library or bookstore. Levi and his best friend. Levi keeps a journal at school. It is written in Inuk Titu. Levi draws pictures in his journal too. Ghana. Seven-year-old Aseya goes to school in Accra. Accra is the largest city in Ghana, a country in Africa. Aseya loves school, especially drawing and writing. Most of all, she likes learning about the human body. Accra, Ghana. Aseya wants to be a doctor when she grows up. Right now, though, she enjoys being a student because her schoolwork is just so interesting. Aseya studies in English, the main language is spoken in Ghana. She's also learning French at recess. Aseya and her friends play clapping games together. Aseya and her friends in front of their school. Aseya's schoolwork. This is Aseya's spelling workbook. Aseya writes the French and English words that she is learning. Japan. 10-year-old Daisuke goes to Yawata Primary School in Ogawa, Japan. He spends a lot of time there uh, in Japan. School begins in April and lasts until the following March. Uh, Daisuke's name in Japanese characters. Daisuke and his best friend Yasuke. Daisuke School. Daisuke studies math, social studies, music, and the Japanese language. His favorite subject is science because he loves learning about dinosaurs. When Daisuke grows up, he wants to become a scientist and study dinosaur fossils. Dino Daisuke's drawing of a dinosaur. This is Daisuke Saya's book, The Red Swords, were made by Daisuke's teachers. They tell him that his work is correct. Uh, Russia. Eight-year-old Olia goes to the Russian classical dance school. This school is in Moscow, the largest city in Russia. In Russia, many children go to schools that focus on one type of a skill, like languages, music, or dance. Olia's mother takes her to school. They go on uh, the Moscow Metro, an underground train system. Olia, the school work. Olia writes her English lessons in this book. She writes with Cyrillic letters. The Cyrillic alphabet is used in the Russian language. In the morning, Olia learns Russian, English, and French. She also studies math and art. All afternoon, she does ballet. Olia has always wanted to be a ballet dancer. When she finishes the school, she hopes to join a, a ballet company. Olia's mother made the uh, letters she wears to ballet. South Africa. Uh, Sibongail goes to Ellerton Primary School near Cape Town, South Africa. It's a 90-minute drive from her house. Sibongail's day starts very early. Her mother wakes her up. At 4.30 a.m., Spongile puts on her school uniform and eats breakfast. At 5.50, a truck arrives to take her to school. Spongile and 15 other children go to school in this truck. Spongile and her classmates often study in groups. School at Ellerton is fun, so Spongile doesn't mind the long trip. She and her classmates study Mathis, English, Science, and History. They also learn Afrikaans. Afrikaans is one of the official languages of South Africa. There's time for fun too. At recess, Spongile and a friend play ball games in the playground. During the warm summer days, they swim in the swimming pool at school. Spongile, the schoolwork. This is a Sibongail's science book. 
Science is her favorite subject because there are so many different topics to learn about. United Kingdom. 11-year-old Samantha, Samantha goes to Dorton House School in Seal, England in the United Kingdom. It's a school for blind children. Some of Samantha's classmates live at school during the week. Samantha lives at home with her family. About 150 students go to Dorton House School. Samantha plays soccer at school. Samantha the school world the pictures the pictures in Samantha science Samantha the science book are made with raised lines. The words are in Braille. In Braille the bumps stand for letter to read. Samantha fills the bumps with her fingers. Like other British children, Samantha studies math, science, English, and geography. To do her schoolwork, she uses a talking computer and calculator. She also uses maps and diagrams with raised lines she can fill. Samantha's favorite class is music. She even writes her own, her own songs. Samantha does math with this talking calculator. It says aloud the numbers she presses. United States, 10-year-old uh, Chabi goes to school in New York City. Chabi, the school has many students. Nearly 1,000 children go there. It takes Chabi about 10 minutes to get to school. This year, he goes by yellow bus to school. When he is older, he will go to school by a city bus or a subway train. JB has different teachers for each school subject. He likes maths because he finds working out problems for fun. His really favorite, however, is a sport. He and his friends play basketball and football. JB's favorite day at school is Friday. That's when a class chess teacher comes to school. Each Friday, the teacher gives JB's class a lesson. Then the students choose partners and play chess together. Chebi is a school work. Chebi works hard in math. He says it is important for him to be good at math because he wants to study computer science and create special effects for movies. The end.